information you asked for. What is this? You brought me a blank document? Use your 3D vision glasses. Ah. There it is. So now let's talk about why we call this the ultimate X58 motherboard. From this angle you can see the stacking fin design and it is a completely passive design. Also you can see the pulsating LED and you can see the enthusiast layout which we'll talk a little bit more about later. So let's turn on the lights and look at some more details. So the first point we want to make about the classified board is the very well thought out power design. So you can see here this actually has two 8 pin connectors. It delivers up to 600 watts of power to your CPU. This is a 10 phase digital PWM design which has a switching frequency of up to 1333 kilohertz. The actual CPU socket itself has 300% more gold content than the standard CPU socket and the bracket is anodized a shiny black. And finally behind the CPU socket there is a ESR and ESL film capacitor for the cleanest and most stable power. So this board, like some other EVGA motherboard, has 100% solid state capacitors. It has 6 DIMMs of DDR3 memory which can support up to 1600 MHz and beyond. And one of the unique points about this is it actually has voltage read points. So you can use a voltmeter and measure your voltages very, very precisely. Also included in the package is the EVGA control panel or ECP. And what this does is a, it's a daughter board type device that plugs into the lower right hand corner of the X58 classified and it gives you quick access to power, reset, clear CMOS and also you can increase your voltage in 0.1 millivolt increments. And of course it has a diagnostic LED which also can show your CPU operating temperature. Hey Special Agent Tiny, can you bring me two EVGA GTX 295s an EVGA 9800 GT, three EVGA GTX 285s, an X5 Fatality sound card, and a Bigfoot Killer NIC network card? You got it, boss. So here is what we meant by an enthusiast layout. From top to bottom, we have an X5 Fatality sound card. We have two EVGA GeForce GTX 295 graphics cards in Quad SLI mode. We have an EVGA GeForce 9800 GT for physics processing, and we have a Bigfoot Killer NIC for network processing, all on one board. So that was example one, now let's show you example two. And here we are with example number two. From top to bottom we have an X5 Fatality sound card, three EVGA GeForce GTX 285s in three-way SLI, and an EVGA GeForce 9800 GT for physics processing. It is worth mentioning that to use this particular setup you will need to use a special SLI bridge which is also included in the package. However, if you want to run three-way SLI mode and you do not wish to use such an extreme setup, EVGA does include the standard three-way SLI bridge connector. And of course, what would an overclocking motherboard be without an overclocking BIOS? Thankfully, EVGA does not disappoint. So if we head over into the frequency slash voltage control, here we have our standard features. We have our QPR B clock frequency. We have our uh, CPU multipliers. In the voltage control, which is most exciting, you can, like other EVGA motherboards, disable the V droop for better CPU stability. You have CPU V cores up to 2.24 volts and various other voltages, including CPU PWM frequency which you can adjust up to 1333 kilohertz. So that is just a small piece of what you can expect with the EVGA X58 classified motherboard. Of course there is much much more features including the EVGA exclusive SBD utility, the Elite utility, and loads more. So with that thank you all for watching and thank you Special Agent Tiny. For more information on this product, please visit our website at www.evga.com or be a part of our forums at forums.evga.com. And finally, if you have any requests or want to send me an email, send me one at videos at evga.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.